circle. Center at origin, 0, 0. The general equation of a circle with center at the origin 0, 0 and radius r is given by x squared plus y squared is r squared. And this formula is given in the tables. So for example, the circle with the center at 0, 0 and the specific radius equal to 5 has the following equation, x squared plus y squared. And for r, which is a value of 5, we put in 5 squared. So x squared plus y squared equals 5 squared is the only circle with the centre at the origin and a radius of 5. And here's a picture of that. We can see that the circle is centred at the origin, 0, 0. The radius goes out to 5 naught or minus 5 naught or naught 5 or naught minus 5. So every point on the perimeter is 5 units away from the centre. The equation of the circle is x squared plus y squared is 5 squared, or also written x squared plus y squared is 25. Example. You're asked to draw the circle with centre at the origin 0, 0 and radius or 5. So we know that the formula is x squared plus y squared is 5 squared. But how would you draw the points or establish the points? Well. We'll start by rearranging the equation x squared plus y squared is 5 squared into one with just one variable on the left hand side. So for example if we choose to leave y squared on the left hand side we take the x squared to the other side. So y squared is 5 squared minus x squared. And if we wanted a single variable on the left hand side without the square we just take the square root. So y is equal to the square root of 5 squared minus x squared. So in this way, if we have a value for x that we try, we can find the corresponding value for y. So let's start now by putting in a relatively simple value for x when x is 0. When x is 0, y is always equal to 5 squared minus x squared, but now we can substitute the 0 for the x. y becomes 5 squared minus 0 squared, 5 squared is 25, 0 squared is 0, y becomes this, the square root of 25. So the square root of 25 is plus or minus 5, both a positive value and a negative value. So the two values, or the two points we've identified for x, y, are not 5, because x is not, y is 5, and not minus 5. So we now have two points on the circle. We didn't have to start with choosing a value of x of 0 or y of 0. We could have taken any value. So in this case, I'm going to look at the value when x is 3. When x is 3, y is still exactly as before, five, the square root of 5 squared minus x squared, the formula. So plugging in those values now, we get that y becomes equal to the square root of 5 squared minus 3 squared, where 3 is substituted for x. So 5 squared is 25, 3 squared is 9, the square root of 25 minus 9 is the square root of 16, and the square root of 16 is plus or minus 4. 4 by 4 is 16, minus 4 by minus 4 is 16. So the two points we get here, x and y, are the points 3, 4, when x is 3, y is 4, and the point 3, minus 4. So if we now look at the graph, we can see that here's our circle. It's going through the various points as before, the minus 5 naught, the naught 5, etc. So it has a radius of 5, but we've also identified the points 3, 4, and 3, minus 4. And we can continue in this manner, choosing points along the way, and then eventually drawing in the circle.